Real 92.3, bootleg Kev, DJ Head, uh, special guest. She's incredibly talented, and she got a crazy record on the radio right now. My man's. Kamaya is here. What it do? In the Von Dutch. <laughs> looking like it's 03 I mean, out here. I know, here. man. I have to. You know what? I fuck with the store over there on uh, Melrose. They be fucking with me and shit. So I go over there. They give me shit for the Lola or for the F. You have like the best teeth I've seen since Gucci Mane and hip hop, by the way. Thank you. Did you get the, 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 the Gucci Mane job situated? I plead the fifth. I will not tell you or incriminate myself about why my smile's so beautiful. Your fucking smile's lit, all right? It's lit <laughs> like it's got a Christmas tree in December. Anyway, um, yo, the new record, Addicted to Ballin', incredible record. Thank it's you. crazy because like I feel like you've always put out like such consistent music. Um, like both your projects, like just incredible, incredible joints on Thank both so of much. them. Um, but I also feel like, you know, this is like the first like, like real, like, like radio push I've seen from Kamaya since, uh, since the first record, since how does yeah, it feel? Yeah, man, you know I mean? it was a, a struggle. I had to get it together. And you know what? It was a point in time where I didn't want to work because my brother died and I was like, fuck y'all. I don't want to do nothing. So, you know, I had to get out over that slump. And get out here and get to right. business, unless I wanted to be a has been or a legend. So it's like, which one you want to be? Yeah, yep. Legendary, clearly, because I'm sitting here. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And then I'll be. Like, how how big was the was the YG Drake record for you? Because it's so platinum. crazy. It's platinum. I played it for my girl today. I was like, oh, I'm going to uh, interview Kamaya. She's like, who's that? I was like, yeah. I was like, yo, you know this song? She's like, really? I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, she lit. But nah, it, it, it's insane. Like, it's platinum. That that was a blessing in disguise. For sure. Yes. Like, when you cut that hook, did you know Drake was going to be on the record? Nigga, when I cut the record, I didn't think it was ever going to surface again. YG just wouldn't let it go. Hey, give me that record. I'm so like, you cut that for yourself? I, I did 10 songs in one night, and, and that was the last one I did that night. Wow. And that's why I sound like that. And please, I was like, I was, and I was like you know what? You Fuck this. Tired. I'm ready to go. <laughs> exactly. And then, ironically, that became a fucking platinum record. 100%. Yo, it's crazy because, you know, in the last, like, month or so, I don't know, Eric would know. He's been here with me. We've had so many goddamn random dolls come in here. Yeah. There's a whole lot of rapping dolls. Oh, yeah, all the girls. There's a cash doll, a Cuban doll. Goddamn Asian doll. Asian doll, dream doll. I don't know what the fuck's going on right now. But nonetheless, <laughs> it's crazy because I feel like you like I, like you really, like, how does it feel? Was that 2015 or 16? What was it, 15, 16? 16, really. It was 16. Because it was like the end of 15 going <laughs> right. to 16. But I feel like even back then, like, it was like Nicki Minaj and Remy Ma. Like, right, right. Like fast forward, Cardi B's a superstar, and now there's like all these, you know. I fuck with Cardi. Cardi funny as shit. She's hilarious. That's a funny ass nigga. She needs to do. <laughs> I just hope. I man, she, I hope whoever's behind her got her gearing up to do movies. Man, that that hey, that's a move for Cardi. I she can't gotta lie. do movies. I can't lie. She can star in a comedy with like for Will Ferrell sure. or some shit. Hands down, she's 100%. funny as shit. Good people. But Good it's crazy because like the, the the landscape in hip hop now is like there's so many like like female rappers that are on the come up. Like you know, do, do you find that? Uh, good or bad, you know? I think it's good as long as they stand confidently and stop trying to step on each other's toes and dissing each other, you know what I'm saying? They are, right? Because it's like a history of that shit, and it's like, until y'all break that stigma, it ain't gonna get you nowhere, you know what I'm saying? You'll hinder yourself worry about what the next person doing versus just embracing her, and y'all standing together, y'all gonna make way more money, you know what I'm saying? That's all gonna be dissing chicks and all that rah-rah shit. All that shit. catty bullshit. I mean, I'm really gangster too, so it's like, I ain't about you to don't do wanna, this. Yeah, you're yeah, from you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna criminate myself <laughs> fucking with one of these bitches. Yeah. So it's just like, you know, that's how I be feeling with the girls, you know? That's why I be looking at it. I be like, y'all tripping. One hundred percent. Have you seen the, the the Sorry to Bother You movie that's based in Oakland yet? Nah, I think I is, is that the one with the dude with the cop or somebody kill somebody? Nah, it's um, it's like based uh, it's based it's it's a pretty much it's a real fucking crazy movie, but it's it's about the guy who works the call center. It's like popping right now. The movie's fire. You it gotta just go came see out? it. It came out like two weeks ago, but it's based in Oakland. Sorry to bother you. You gotta see it. It's fine. I thought it was the one I... It's, what's the movie I'm supposed to do the soundtrack for? It's like a new movie coming out. You, on, you getting them soundtrack checks? Man, this is going to be like the what, the second one, I think. Yeah. What was the first soundtrack you were on? Uh, the first TV show I did, I think, was Insecure. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the first movie I did is Stepsisters on Netflix, I think. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's the first people who I did the shit for. But people be reaching out to me for shits all the time. 100%. It just be me on some bullshit if I do it in time or not or if I'm fucking with the bag or not. 100%. How's the new YG album sounding? It's fire. We got to what? We got like a week left. Yeah, you got a little, you got a little second, millisecond, but y'all gonna fuck with it. I fuck with it. I, I can't wait to hear it. I, I, first of all, my favorite song, Bulletproof. By the way, I'm gonna put that out there before Bulletproof. I drop. Bulletproof. Who's on that? Just him? Him and J305. Okay, shout out J305. Yeah, that shit bang. 
<laughs> what'd you think of his album cover? We just had a little off, off, off. Uh, I'm not about to get beat up by 400 records because I'm up here. <laughs> no, it was, it, 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 it was interesting. It was like a, a mall picture. Like, like something in the yeah. mall, right? With YG's the airbrush crazy. background. YG's crazy. But you know, I just expect. It looked like he took the Tupac shirt from All Eyes on Me and Keenan wore it. Keenan crazy. 100%. Keenan's fucking crazy. But it's crazy because I feel like, like YG and even Mustard now, like, I feel like they're kind of underrated when it comes to, like. Back to back consecutive hits. Just that and their. West Coast culture. Their, and their seat, well, for sure. I told boss I, mentality. I told Mustard and YG <laughs> when they were together. We were in Vegas. I told them straight up when they had that little like year where they weren't fucking with each other. Been caddy. And they were being caddy and <laughs> and the second YG album, I don't think had any mustard on it. Nah, I didn't. I, I just didn't. told them like y'all fucking up. Y'all yeah. were snooping Dre yeah. of this time. Like yeah. y'all, I'm glad y'all are back together. Yeah, for sure. But I feel like they're a little slept on when it comes to just the CEO shit. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like. Mustard got LMA. You know, that's that's you a know, beautiful like, thing to watch. Like him boss up and then she becomes successful because it's like you got the we got to watch it firsthand on the family side, like to see her come from that side and then it just like kind of slowly and then you like, damn bitch, you damn near number one. Shit. I see you, bitch. Right? Like, Top like, five record. That's what I see. I was like, okay, bitch. And I, see I remember when I first met her, I was like, <laughs> she was like the nicest girl ever. So very sweet. soft spoken. With that little accent. Right? She got the English accent. <laughs> For sure. It's That's why I was like, it's crazy. Like, I, even with the experience being in the video, like being there in the middle of the night, it's damn near snowing, we freezing, and then we like shoot it, and it's like the record was cool, but it wasn't where it's at now. So to see like, damn, this shit down there and about to be a hundred million in on YouTube, it's like, right? what the hell? And the T-Pain did a remix, Nicki did a remix. It, 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 man. Quavo on did there. Did you hear the T-Pain remix? Yeah, I fuck with that T-Pain shit. T-Pain shit was hard. That nigga's fucking talented. Yeah. <laughs> you, he, would you ever do a T-Pain record? What? Are you crazy? Hell, fuck yeah, man. That nigga is amazing. Like, he's so underrated to me. It 100%. Uh, Yo, have you ever seen him live, He though. influenced this whole culture of music. Like, I don't give a fuck what nobody says. All that auto tune shit. 100%. All the that. Post Malone's, he, all the all, trap. He did yeah, that. 100%. T-Pain. Um, so the 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 album, or uh, that's what I was going to ask you. This We got the single. Yeah. We know what the first single is. Uh, haven't shot the video yet, right? Nah, we working on this. It should be done in the next week or two, for sure. Uh, what about the album? What is this a chat Don't to? ever get it twisted. September. It's called Don't Ever Get It Twisted? Don't Ever Get It Twisted. Okay, who do you got on it? See, everybody always asks me that I'll be trying to... My favorite record, I'm just going to tell you, I'll be telling everybody, it's me, Days Loaf, and E-40. That's oh, my shit. favorite record on there. It, it bang. It Days Loaf is hard, too. Man, so slept on, man. So I swear. slept on. And, I, you know, I was, like, pressing for her to be on the album because I was like, man, people need to feel you. And I'm like, I know how her impact was on the Bay, and we was, like, the main market that and blew And I feel like up. each of you guys have an extremely distinct, unique voice. voice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I knew how to channel it. So that on that record, I feel like she had the best verse on there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not insecure to say her that. Her first project was crazy. Oh, God. Like, super crazy. And I'm like, she killed it. She Don't killed ever it. get it twisted. Don't ever get it twisted. E-40 and Days Loaf on it. Yeah. Um, YG's probably on it, right? Yep. Snoop. Oh, you got Snoop on there? Man, I'm, I'm calling, I'm summoning all the G's on my shit, man. You got that. Yo, E-40 and Snoop on the same album. Yeah. And YG, I mean, shit. Yep. I ain't gonna give you away no more. It's lit. It's, I'm, Production I'm, wise, you got it mustard beat on there? Yeah. Addicted to Ballin'. Addicted to Ballin'. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't know why. What, what record? Everybody always asks me that because they, they, you forget so quick that he says mustard on the beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I, and a lot of people are taking the mustard swag right now, too. You know what? Hello? But anyway, Hello? Um, <laughs> so the album's coming out in September. Yeah, um, we about to tour. We about to get we about to get it breaking out here, man. I'm shooting all these videos, everything early. So when I start, I ain't stopping again because I took a long deficit, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like I'm one of those people who meant to be here and be legendary, so I got to start working like it. Yeah, I remember I posted a picture with ASAP Ferg and you put in the comments that that was your bae. Did you ever have you ever met him? Oh, did, Ferg, yes. Did you <laughs> shoot your shot? Did you shoot <laughs> no, your shot? Yo, with you Ferg? know what? That's like a homie, man. <laughs> You know what? That's the homie. I just remember that. I was like, you know how you be having like when you like when you coming up and you don't know people. You like you got this fictitious little crush. I feel like it was one of those things. But that's like a brother to me, though. Like so you he, got, he did... on my shits too. Oh, oh, you got Ferg on Yeah, I got Ferg on some shits. Uh, okay, he on my shits too. But yeah, that's like a brother. But I feel so like so you it's... didn't shoot your shot when you met nah, Ferg. Nah, it was like uh, nah, 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 was nah. I was even trying to, you know. Nah, I feel you. It's different. I, I listen. I'm not mad at it. When you were like coming up, obviously you're from the Bay Area. I, I think a lot of the Bay Area influences obvious so we'll leave out anybody from the bay but who are, who are some of your like heavy influence as a rapper like tupac tupac yeah i feel like i got a dangerous mind so we think alike i could dig that you know what i'm saying like i'm a revolutionary extraordinaire i'm very big on philanthropy you know what i'm saying i think a little different so it's like if, if, if with me being that type of woman and having the respect i have for myself at all times i feel like it's only right that i'm like in the same lane as a man like that 
What is it about the Bay Area? Because I feel like the Bay Area has always had such a political like the Panthers. Heart. The Panthers is a, the the biggest shits ever. You know what I'm saying? 100%. And we 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 bred that. So it's like it's only natural that you see that it's gonna be a generation after a generation of revolutionary people. We got do, some dangerous minds. We very you, influential. Like, like any any Black Panthers come out of your family when you were growing up, or did, like, I can't, did you grow up I around think, that? I all? believe so. I think my grandmother was one. I believe so, but you know I don't get too deep into that because I don't need the CIA, FBI, ABT, all that shit. Coming. Especially with Trump in there right <laughs> you now. You know what I'm saying? Because like you know, you never know you never what the know. hell who who the fuck watching you because of your bloodline. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm pretty positive. Like my people's is fucking around with the shits. What makes uh, Oakland and, and the Bay Area unique to the rest of the world? Because I feel like it's like its own. It should we be just, its own. It's like its own country, Loki. We just like the influencers. Like that's all I can. That's all I can. Or how I can put it in so many words. Like we create so much and breed so much, and then don't get credit. You know what I'm saying? That's so facts. Like we just I do so tell much. That, I tell people straight up. I'm like, look. E40. Even the word hella, like, come on, my nigga, we started straight this up. shit. Like, and, nigga, and now the whole world saying hella. Shout to mustard, but before mustard. I feel like the pack was really the, the, the start sound. of that sound. That's, no, it was the bass sound. You know, they, they had their own little diplomatic disputes over that. You know what I'm saying? It's been settled since then. No, you know? for sure. But I'm just and, saying, and, like, and, and, like and the initial, influence of the yeah, pack. Like, yeah, the, initially, it was definitely an issue with that. But you know what? We all got to realize, like, it's even though it's this side and that side, we united as a nation, my nigga. So it's like, <laughs> if it's the West Coast, it's the West Coast. We can't divide. That's why I 100%. fuck with the whole me being 400 shit. Because it's like you bridging the top and the bottom. You know what I'm saying? I feel, like, just, the, I feel like the Bay in L.A. didn't really used to fuck with each other too crazy like that but i feel like now it's just like and i, I it's, a, it's a big deal Mighty i feel like big now deal. it's everybody's just just we baking it <laughs> you know, stay here you stay here jeez you yep, stay here yep. you know what i mean it's like a big low situation and i'm fucking with it i feel like that's how it should have been but oh geez you know what i'm saying with the politics and shit they be on their bullshit how, how how important you think it is to have somebody like g easy who's obviously right now the biggest rapper out of the bay but like i feel like he's just always showing love yeah. to everybody coming up, whether it's putting people on his tours or he does records with everybody. Like, oh, for sure. I think that's just, that's what you're supposed to do when you get to that level. You ain't supposed to leave him behind. You're supposed to pull him in. So Did you he, call him when you saw he had bleached hair? Did you like yo, hit him with the like, yo, my nah, G? I hit him with the comment. I think I got the most <laughs> likes in there. I called that nigga Slim Gerald. Nigga, they, they start flaming his ass up. They flamed him up. Slim Gerald. Ooh, they flamed his ass oh up. Oh, my God. I, I like, like it. it, though. I like the little. Hey, he can pull it off. He ain't give him character. Yeah. I like it. I think it's, it's very distinctive. He could pull that shit off. Not a lot of people could. No, absolutely not. He did it. He did it, though. Well, yo, the album's coming out. Uh, Kamaya, in your spare time. <laughs> Um, are you a Netflix type of person? You play video games? Absolutely, Netflix. I play Nintendo 64. You go 64? And I love reading. That's my thing. Reading, okay. Dangerous so, mind. 64. What's your game on 64? You go Golden Mario on Kart. Them? Mario Kart, okay. What? We'll be over there funking on the Mario Kart. That's crazy. Yo, Nintendo 64 is probably my favorite we console. Playing, the first time Drake came to my house, me and my brothers was playing double, uh, the little Mario Karts in 007. He was looking like, I haven't seen this in so long. Golden Eye so far. Yeah. First of all, Drake coming to your house in that general. Was when I first, that was the craziest shit ever. When yeah, I first, tell us about that. When I first, that we can't just pass when that When I first over. moved out here, just, just, first time Drake came to my house, that means there was a nah, second time he came nah, to nah, <laughs> nah, he just readily popped up one night. He told me he was going to come out. That nigga was going to come. He really came. And we just sitting there, I ain't got no furniture. <laughs> we got like a couch that said TV on the floor. Drake pulled up. Yep. We playing the, the whole little Nintendo 64 because me and my brothers really play that shit. So we all up in there really on the shits playing the shit. That's crazy. He's this... looking, he like, man, I ain't seen this shit in so long. Was this after uh, Why You Always Hating? I before? think it was like right before it. It was like literally like right before it. That's dope. Yeah. That's got to be crazy. What are you reading? Like, what, like what's your favorite book? Right now, I'm uh, reading. Uh, that you're a badass bullshit that everybody keep reading. I read it. You know what I'm talking about? That little yellow book, everybody reading that shit. And this is other book. Uh, I can't think of it. Some spiritual guy shit. I be trying to read the shit to be in touch with your soul and shit. Okay. And some, you know, the black shit, the Nubian shit. I'll fuck with that. Um, I ask everybody this, even females. So you feel free to tell me to go fuck myself. Uh, who's top five in Kamaya Spank Bank? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Spank Bank is essentially. You know, top five people you like to hook up with, like, and like, you know, and you're like, for me, for me, it's you know, what? I don't like, like to answer those questions because it's like it's being like in this business is so realistic. You put that in the atmosphere, like a motherfucker oppress you. So I'm not gonna even answer you, that. Yeah. All right, all right. You know what I'm saying? You can't give you, us one, like a whole school nigga, one. Nigga, I'm gonna give you two pop because nigga can't right, answer two it. <laughs> two pop. Nigga can't state. answer it. Can't reply. <laughs> Can't smack none of that. So it's like, hey, fuck it. Hey, it's lit. Kamaya, uh, appreciate you. Let's get into the song. I'll let you introduce it for LA. My new record, me and my homie, Schoolboy Q, Addicted to Ballin', Get the Shmoney. Hey, it's Real 92.3. Let's get it.